Welcome guys, today I am going to show you Palo Alto Firewall deployment on ESXi server. Ok, so we are going to deploy Palo Alto PanOS 8.0 on ESXi 6.5. Ok, so now let me access my ESXi server. Ok, to deploy the Palo Alto Firewall on ESXi server you should have the Palo Alto OVF file, either you should have OVF file. But right now I have my Palo Alto OVF file here. Okay, to deploy Palo Alto on ESXi server, you have to click on this tab, create and register new uh, VM. Okay, so now you have to uh, go with the second option, deploy a Palo Alto machine on OVF and OVF file. Then click next, give the name of your VM machine. This one is my Palo Alto firewall. Firewall. 002. Now we have to select here that file or OVF file and open. Then click on the next. Now you have to select here your storage space where you want to store your uh, VM machine. Let me select this ST3. Next. Okay. So this one is the your management network adapter on which one VLAN you want to map. Okay from my management interface I should have to internet access so uh, that I have to use this VLAN 11 on because on this VLAN 11, 11 I have internet access ok so next ok all the parameters done finish now it will be upload this OVF file from my uh, this server to ESXi so it will be take us uh, some time till that we will be discuss the topology okay so as you can see here uh, this VLAN 11 we are going to use access our Palo Alto firewall from our management PC okay and uh, <coughs> this WAN side on Ethernet 1 slash 1 we will be use also same VLAN 11 okay and this one is my gateway IP address this, uh, this one is my firewall so here for uh, LAN side we have to use Ethernet 1 slash 2 and here we will be use trust vlan 2 because this trust vlan 2 already is connected with the test pc this test pc ip address is 10.1 so we will be check the connectivity from palo alto to test pc okay and palo alto to internet okay so today we will be check all those things here okay so now let me go back and check okay guys so it will be take some time till that i am going to pause this video Okay guys, so as you can see here, our deployment is almost done. Okay, and this one is our Palo Alto Firewall 2. Okay, now I have to check its interface setting. So right click and go back and edit setting. here in edit setting first network adapter we are using for the management purpose second one we are using for the internet connectivity means our untrust interface and third one is our uh, line side network adapter interface so let me use this one for trust tool and let me save ok now open its console open browser console so you can see deployment is in process so you can see there is one synchronization is failed now let me use its default credential admin admin ok this one is showing log login incorrect uh, because there are few services which one is running in background so it will be take some time ok so as you can see we got the IP address on our management interface 192.168.11.61 uh, <coughs> what happened in PanOS 8 our management interface is by default DHCP client ok that's why it will be take the IP address from DHCP server if there is any DHCP server in your network 
but still we have to wait okay so now let me try to log in with default credential admin admin done okay <coughs> so now let me check show interface management okay so guys you can see <coughs> right now i am getting the ip address from dhcp to our management interface suppose that in production network you didn't have dhcp client and you have to access the call auto firewall so in that case how you will set the ip address okay so for that you have to go in the configuration mode and you have to use set device system type static okay now set device system ip p4 address is 192.168.11. let me use 66 okay network 255.255.255.0 okay and set then commit Okay, now exit show interface management. Now you can see <coughs> we are getting IP address 11.66. Okay, so now let me access this from here. HTTPS colon double slash double one dot sixty six. Advance browse and save website. Now let me use default credential. Now you will be get here uh, one pop-up message. Still we are using default username and password. Okay. We are trying to access this Palo Alto firewall first time, so it will be take some time. Till that, let me access this Palo Alto firewall through. The double six IP address. This one will be helpful for the ping and perform all the things here. Admin. Admin. Okay. Show cloud. Okay, guys, so you can see this one is our Palo Alto BM series on ESXi server. So now next task we have to access internet from our Palo Alto firewall. For that we have to configure IP address on our Ethernet 1 slash 1. Okay. So we have to configure this interface as a layer 3 interface. Okay, virtual route by default here we have one default virtual route. Security zone we didn't have, so we have to create that security zone here. And that one is untrust. untrust zone ok now next we have to assign the IP address so let me use 62 IP address slash 24 done let me create here a uh, management profile with this profile we can access all auto firewall let me allow ping ssh https okay okay so next task we have to configure default route 2.0 or isp and this one is a default route uh, 0, .0, .0, 0, 0, 0, slash 0 ok which interface we are using ethernet 1 slash 1 ok our gateway IP address is 192.168.1.249 ok ok 
और इज डन सो नेक्स्ट टास्क हियर इन डिवाइस सर्विसेज वी हैव टू कॉन्फिगर आवर डीएनएस सर्वर okay service dot configuration from which one interface will we send the dns request so by default all the request are forward to through the management interface but we have to change this into ethernet one <coughs> okay done now let me commit this Okay, commit is also almost done. Uh, let me ping source one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot eleven dot sixty one host. First of all, let me ping my gateway. I want to communicate with the gateway. Now, next, let me ping the global DNS four dot two dot Okay. So next, now let me ping the Google. Google dot com. This one is also done. So right now we are able to access the internet from our Palo Alto firewall. Now we have to configure this LAN PC and then we have to access internet from this LAN PC. Okay. For that, first of all, we have to assign the IP address on our LAN interface. This one is our LAN interface. Okay, deploy as a layer three interface. Okay, then virtual route default zone. We didn't have a trust zone, so let me create trust zone. Trust zone. Then IP address. We can create object also here for IP address, but uh, I'm going to just quickly complete this lab. So that's why I'm going. Uh, I'm using the direct IP address. I'm not going through the object. So same here. Let me call this access profile so I can ping and allow all these services on this Palo Alto firewall. Okay. So now let me commit. Tell that. Let me open that my test PC. Okay. New test. Commit successful. Now let me ping from Paul Alto to one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot ten. Host is my one ninety two. Okay, so from my Palo Alto, I can access also ping my this test PC. Okay, so I think this one is the command prompt. From now here, let me check first of all IP address of this IP config. Perfect. I have turned out my IP address now. Let me ping. Sorry. Ping 192.168.10.10 IP address. Perfect. I am able to communicate. Okay, now let me communicate with the my default gateway. This, this one is the my firewall gateway. I'm not able to communicate because still I didn't configure any any policy on the Palo Alto firewall. Okay, so next task, what I have to do, I have to create here policy. Okay, so when access, sorry, let me use web access. Access our source interfaces. Source zone is trust. My source network, uh, anyone, and destination is my untrust zone. Okay, application any services any action allow log the first packet. Okay. So next task we have to configure here source net. Okay. This one is trust zone. 
destination is and trust zone destination interface one slash one okay and uh, we didn't have source network anyone destination network anyone that doesn't matter after that net dynamic IP address port and interface address let me use interface and let me use this this one is mine so I want to translate my all LAN network with this IP address ok done commit ok so this one is my call also let me make this one in full screen and show session all ok right now we have just only one session which one is uh, uh, we are getting from let me check this one is SSH now so let me check show session ID 22 oh, so this one is uh, plan source destination source for destination port one, uh, 133 ok so default application rule intra zone this one is packet ok just leave this so let me go back here on my Palo Alto commit done uh, my test PC let me ping 4.2.2.2 so you can see I am able to access the net here and now let me check the session box ok so you can see a pink packet so session id is 78 in this you can see this one is my source ip address destination ip address source port destination port ok after that this one is a packet from server to client in this you can see our application ok which one rule is responsible to allow this which one rule is used by NAT so all this detail you can get here so finally now let me go back here on my Palo Alto firewall sorry this test PC and let me access google.com <coughs> so finally we are able to access internet from our test PC through the Palo Alto firewall you will be get here all the detail ok so you can see here all the application this one is detect by our Palo Alto firewall like DNS, DNS uh, this one is Google base ok unknown Google base because Google base all these applications so guys this one is your Palo Alto lab setup on ESXi server ok and just in comment section just uh, you can update me which one topic you want to see in the next video ok so I will make the video as per the your session Okay guys, take care, bye.